Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the Leviathan series. Um, this time I'm going to be tackling the Psychophage, the beautiful monster. It's actually my favorite Tyranid monster from the kit. Uh, the Von Rhein's Leapers are my favorite miniatures, Tyranids wise, from the kit. But the Psychophage is definitely a very close second. It is absolutely stunning. It was my favorite until I built and painted the Von Rhein's Leapers and then they slightly overtook it. So as you guys know, I've been doing a little series on the Leviathan um, to get a few bits and pieces done for specific videos. Um, and this is kind of where we are at so far with my Leviathan set. I started by doing a video on the new Terminators, then I did the Lieutenant, and then we have the beautiful uh, Dreadnought. On this side, we did the Leapers, we did of course Screamer Killer, and then the Psychophage. So those are the bits and pieces that I've managed to get done. And that's all that I'm going to get done before next week. And next week begins Leviathan week, where I power through painting the rest of the box set. So you won't be getting any more individual videos on this is how you paint that and this is how you paint this. Hopefully you can translate anything I've done so far in these videos across to the new ones. With the exception, of course, the Librarian and the Apothecary. I understand that those are two very different schemes to the standard Flesh Terror scheme. So if I get time, I might do something special with them, but I'm not entirely sure yet. There's my collection of other Tyranid schemes I did for you guys. So, so far I've done eight schemes for Tyranids on the channel. Yeah, I said that right. Eight Tyranid schemes I've done the last few weeks for you guys. So you should be able to pick one of them. Um, so hope you enjoyed the Psychophage video. Uh, like I said, the Leviathan week starts next Monday. You guys rallied around the channel for Indominus Week. You seem to really enjoy that. And I'm hoping you all enjoy the Leviathan week just as much. And I'm excited to bring it to you guys as well. Okay, without further ado, let's get into painting this miniature. This is, of course, the beautiful Psychophage model, which has been released as part of the Leviathan set. And like I said, when I first seen this box set, this was the, the, the model from the Tyrant side that I gravitated to the most. I guess this video is kind of going to be like an indication of, um, you know, my smaller paint schemes transferring to bigger models. A lot of people have been watching my, um, you know, my three paint schemes in one video one and asking me, can you show me how to do this on a bigger model? And that kind of confuses me a little bit because it's exactly the same steps. Nothing changes with Tyranids from painting a smaller organism to a bigger organism at all. It's all the same colors, it's all the same color placement. It should be no more complicated. I've always said that I believe Tyranids are by far the easiest uh, army to paint in Warhammer 40,000. Even easier than Necrons. And I will demonstrate that here now, literally exactly the same steps as the Von Rhein's Leapers or I would do on a Gaunt. Golem and Flesh on the skin, then carry Burke Crimson over the top just like before. My Patreons actually got a couple of extra Tyranid painting videos um, in the last kind of couple of weeks. It's one of the benefits of being a member of my Patreon is you get an extra video every single week. So that's 52 extra videos a year. If you're curious about getting involved, you also get access to a private Discord server. There's links to that below. So check that out at your convenience. I really love the look that the skin gets here. It looks gross. And then once you give it its double dry brush, then it looks like that kind of sickly alien skin tone. Um, it really unsettles uh, anybody who looks upon it. And I think it looks really cool. So Screamer Skull being the first one, a kind of medium to light dry brush across the entire thing. You want to leave that kind of sickly pink stretched looking skin. Remember, these creatures were probably spawned only a couple of days ago. See if the skin is going to be quite wrong, quite sore. Um, and obviously my particular Tyranids are stomping across a frozen uh, planet. So obviously the snow and the ice is going to be affecting them, giving them like frostbite that they're just shrugging off because they're Tyranids. So yeah, if you are out there and you do like any of my Tyranid schemes and you are worried, please just do try them on a larger model. And if there's any part of it that you do get stuck on, you're like, well, actually it doesn't cover this. Just message me, ask me a question. I will be more than happy to answer you. Like I said, I do reply to every single message that I have ever received on YouTube. Do you have any idea how many messages that is? And I have responded to all of them, every comment. And I will continue to do so as long as it is feasible. Hopefully for a long time uh, more. Just like before, we move on to Stegged on Scale Green and applied that to all of the chitin on the miniature. I 
taking my time. I don't want to hit that skin now because in my head that skin is pretty much done apart from some volupus pink uh, parts that we will be doing in a little bit. So as you can see, I'm obviously going slower with the paintbrush now as I go closer to the skin areas to make sure that I do not hit them by mistake. And I want that really clean uh, flush look across the entire piece. And this is the like transformative stage of the model. Once you get all that blue on, you can take a step back and look like, look at what the miniature is going to look like. And that gets me excited. Altiac Blue is then feathered onto all of the carapace. And as you can see, I'm basically just following the natural lines of the carapace. I will never do a brush stroke from side to side on this armor. It'll always be from up to down. And the bits where the two chitinous plates meet, you want to leave that nice and dark. That's where we're going to feed that really watered down Doomble Brown into recesses in a little bit. which is one of my favorite steps. It probably is my favorite step of painting these miniatures. I really feel like it, once again, adds that nice bit of texture to these models, gives it that alien appearance. You don't want anything to look artificial. So no solid colors or straight lines. You want it all to look as alien and gross as possible. Rattling grime for his claws, his giant rending claws. Scything talons, should I say. I just do one coat of rattling grime on these and leave them, I don't touch them again. It's a nice kind of break between black and brown. And I like the idea of it not being like, you know, a perfect thing just to once again, play into that idea of it being not artificial. It's alien, it's alive. Here's that really watered down Doomble Brown I talked about. And I just feed that into all the cracks and recesses between all the armored plates. You get the paint to about the consistency of milk by mixing water into it and then just gently painting it to all the recesses. It will mostly flow into all those recesses itself. And if you get a little bit of kind of like over painting, that's fine, just leave it. It will once again play into that alien look. I wonder how many more times in this video I can say alien look. But anyway, here is the uh, it in all of the armor panels. It looks pretty good. And then we jump over to Volupus Pink to once again add a little bit more color. So this goes into all of those cracks and recesses on all the armor plates, plus on the soft skin. So I've started to do this where it's in all like the elbow and knee joints of all these models. Plus this has like spouts coming out the side of it, which is guess where those fumes that are shooting out the top come from. I painted those in that sickly pink. And when I did this with the Von Rhein's Leapers, it looked so good and I was so happy with it that I knew that I was gonna transfer that kind of thing over to the rest of the scheme as well. So I do actually need to go back to the Screamer's Killer that I painted up and added in between all of his like elbows and knees. I love how that looks. A little bit of pure white for his eyes and all of his razor sharp teeth. I threw a bit of um, Iron Jaws yellow contrast over those eyes when I was complete to give him that little bit of a kind of a yellow glow of an eye. I dry brushed the top with the pure white again. This is the only bit that I got a little bit stuck on. And these are the kind of details that I talk about. Just message me if you're ever stuck, even though I was quite stuck on these too. Whether I wanted to give it uh, like a gross color, I was tempted to do it a yellow or a green or maybe a different shade of blue. But in the end, I just had that pure white that I'd use for the teeth and the eyes still on the palette. So I grabbed my, my dry brush. I went over it kind of heavily enough to give me like it's spewing white smoke out of the top. I added my snow texture to the base and then called this awesome miniature complete. One more thing I have ticked off that I don't need to stress about during Leviathan week. I hope you guys like how it turned out. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And I hope you guys are excited to join me on the Leviathan week journey starting on the 26th. It's going to be a lot of fun. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And I'll see you all there. Okay guys, and there we have it. One Psychophage miniature is now painted and ready to join my scuttling Tyranid horde. As you can see, my Tyranid horde does have many other miniatures in it. Um, and that's just all the big things that don't fit in small cases. So I'm excited to bolster that force even more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed to uh, get all future updates, um, including all the ones for Leviathan Week itself. Ask me any questions you want in the comments below and I will get back to absolutely everyone that does. Really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.